Ed Sheeran says South Park episode that made fun of people with red hair ruined his life. <laughs> say what? How the heck can Ed Sheeran say that South Park ruined his life? That episode of The Gingers was aired 2005, and this article states that Ed's international success began on 26 April 2011, and it also states that he's worth over 200 million dollars. 200 million dollars and he's complaining? Come on, Ed Sharon, stop being a ginger. If anything, the episode of South Park helped him become more famous and known. Ginger kids, children with red hair, light skin, and freckles. Gingers, let's go! Ginger kids are born with a disease which causes very light skin, red hair, and freckles. Eee! Ah, nasty, yuck! This disease is called gingivitis. I didn't know it was a disease called gingivitis. Oh no! Is there a cure? And it occurs because ginger kids have no souls. Have no soul? Well, he kind of does have a point. The only souls we get are the ones that we collect. Gingers have souls! <laughs> because their skin is so light, ginger kids must avoid the sun. Not unlike... Vampires. <sighs> Another great fact. We do have to avoid sunlight or we get burned severely. Some people have red hair, but not light skin and freckles. These people are called daywalkers. Ooh, daywalkers. In conclusion, I will leave you with this. If you think that the ginger problem is not a serious one, think again. Ah, that's my father, god dang it. Or should I say the father of all gingers? Ah, he's a ginger. Ah, he's a ginger. All jokes put aside, I guess Ed Sharon and Copper Cab do have a point, even though people don't take ginger seriously and they just kind of point and laugh and go, ha ha, look at that ginger. I'm being called a ginger every single day at school. Every day of my life. Fun fact, before the South Park episode even came out about gingers, uh, I've had people make fun of me and call me a ginger way before that even came out. So I just embraced it. Even on my gaming channel, I named it the Red Eye Ginger. And this is the conclusion of the video. Ed Sheeran even states it himself that I hope that if I'm ever on South Park, them taking the piss, I hope I'm allowed to voice my character. He said, even if it's very offensive, I love to voice my character. So he's just calling shots out to South Park just so he could try to get a character on there so we can do a voiceover if anything don't pick that ginger pick carrot top or pick this ginger but get this it continues to state that the singer songwriter who recently landed his fourth number one on the billboard 200 was recently caught up with the breakfast club back in november sharing that he feels like an outsider in pop music he said that the only people to hit him up about the album for the most part were uk industry friends i'm not accepted by my genre i thought it was quite telling that my album came out and the only people that emailed me in depth about liking it were like dave and stormzy and people from the UK rap and UK grime scene he said my peers largely I feel in the pop scene often don't want me to succeed I've never felt accepted by my scene as a fellow ginger I can actually kind of relate to what Ed's sharing there and I'm sure uh, youtuber copper cab can also uh, agree with what he's saying as well as I'm going to say is that I'm in the skateboard industry as well as the YouTube industry not the music industry as of yet but I feel like yeah a lot of my skateboarding peers uh, a lot of them don't want to see me succeed they actually uh, give me backlash and bully me and stuff like that as well as in the YouTube community they don't really take you seriously don't want to collab with you or work with you and I'm sure Copper Cab can relate to that and Kara Top also kind of covered this in the Joe Rogan podcast about how him as a comedian is loved by his fans which is amazing but he also wants to be accepted by his fellow peer comedians and a lot of them don't accept him for being a comedian they actually look down upon him and that's just sad but I just think that's just kind of like the territory that we get with being a ginger. Gingers only make up one maybe two percent of the world's population so in reality there's not too many of us gingers around and that's the reason why we get picked on bullied and singled out as well as our fellow peers don't accept us or they end up wanting us not to succeed but we do end up making a lot of fans along the way and we do appreciate everyone's love and support that do support us gingers because we do receive a lot of backlash uh, throughout you know our whole entire lives and in saying that, it's really easy for others to look and point and pick on something that's different. And gingers are clearly 
different, we stand out, we're unique, and you know, it's okay. I'm proud to be a ginger, and it's okay if people make fun. I've learned to embrace it, but the thing is too is that people need to learn to love and embrace everyone no matter you know their hair color or what what case the case may be everyone needs to love and accept everyone and appreciate everyone for who they are unless you're a ginger because gingers don't have souls or do we i i, I just don't know anymore um yeah but I'm going to shut up now, so you all know what to do. Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments below about this. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family, and click that subscribe button down below for more. It's free, it takes two seconds, it helps me out a lot, and I really do truly appreciate it. Also, Copper Cab, Ed Sharon, and Carrot Top, us gingers, we need to stick together. So come on, hit me up some time. Let's do some collaborations. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care, and peace out.